So it's six o'clock. Is there anybody anybody online? Yes, I can see a person online. So let's get started. Hello. Now the tutorial for today is about the Death Studio 3D Photoshop bridge and um, what you can do with it. I think it's a feature that is rarely used but is not to underestimate uh, because you can do powerful things with it. And um, let's yeah, let's start directly. We want to do a simple thing for the beginning, and later we use it uh, with a more experienced thing. We start with the uh, volleyball you have. Everybody has it. Uh, who owns Death Studio because it's uh, part of uh, Starter Essentials. Let's go there. Make it bigger. So center, make it center of your viewport and. Um, Let's look at it in iRay, the render settings of the environment. It looks like this, nothing special. Um, I drop it to the floor and go center it again. So what we have here is a volleyball, nice looking and nothing special. What we can do with it is to um, initialize the Photoshop 3D bridge now. Then we get the 3D bridge camera automatically, and uh, with that one, of course, you can see it here. Use the 3D bridge camera here as well, and center the volleyball again. So it's the same image as before, but now with this 3D bridge as a camera. Then we start our Photoshop. I have the Photoshop CC version, and Go here to automatic this 3D the uh, studio 3D bridge. English is not my native language, so please uh, I, I apologize for that. <laughs> so what we have now is a connection between Death Studio and Photoshop. Because you can see it here, the 3D bridge is running. What we do now is import an image map from our scene. It shows the volleyball uh, texture and our environment texture. This is our sky and ground dome. So, but we want to work with the volleyball. We import it and immediately get the texture of this volleyball. What we can do now is start to paint on it. Pretty normal, as you would use Photoshop in a normal way. Right. With this with red, so let's make it the Japanese flag. Just like this. Sheldon Cooper would say, "Fun with flags." Somehow, and now we export this image. What about JPEG? Export. What we see now, immediately in Dash Studio, is exactly this. And what about with the red spot on it. That's pretty easy, you know, and uh, you can do a lot of funny things with it, or interesting things, or you can do also good looking things, for example, you can do instant makeup um, to your figures, uh, what we will do in a minute. So what's next? You have to be aware that if you exported the image and you want to change it, you need to import it again because the uh, new texture gets a number. Now you can see it's a sixth version of this volleyball I have uh, in, in my folder. Um, <coughs> so it gets automatically it gets a number, and uh, you have to import the new version of it. So if you um, if you don't do it, um, you will know you will see no difference. So what you can do now is paint on this whatever you want to. Just do just some funny random stuff with it and export it to six. Yeah, you have to overwrite the six and it will get it becomes a seven. And now you have also the, the blue spots. Don't forget that because if you don't import the new version of your texture, um, there will be no no changes. So far, so good. Okay, let's delete the volleyball. 
and go to our um, paper, of course, and the normal Genesis 2 base female figure. Let's uh, make a center too, like the volleyball before. So now, the head. So, and then rotate the dome a little bit because we want to have it more the light a little bit more from the front, like this, that we can see our results better. What we have here now is a Genesis 2 female, the base figure, and included the textures. Now, on the surface tab, of course, we can see all the surfaces, also the head surface here, but uh, we want to change something in Photoshop. That's why we load it in Photoshop. We import the image map from the head, the M. It's for material, B is for bump, and um, uh, it's for the specular map. <coughs> we don't want to use it, we want to use the head M material JPEG. We import it, and now we have it here. So we can close the other ones before. Don't want to save them. So, what we have now is the texture of the head alone, and now we can do whatever we want with it. We have here, let's work on the mouse a little bit, make it smaller, like this, let's roll it down. Let's start to draw on the mouse. I will do nothing too special, not long time thing. I think this whole tutorial will uh, take only 20, 30 minutes maybe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just roughly, nothing, nothing special, just to show you how to use it. Okay, like this, make it brighter, and there is some glowing, some glossiness over here. So, and uh, a little bit more brighter. So something like that, whatever is here. Um, so now we export the image map. And immediately see the blue lid on her figure. That's pretty fine, no? Pretty cool. So let's see. What else can we do with it? Of course we can um, do a lot of things. With it, let's move a little bit out, go a little bit into the eyes. Sorry, wrong button. So, a little bit bigger up here, a little bit more. So, like this, give a so right over here. Another sector. What we now you can see what we uh, have not done is importing uh, the previous image. So if we exchange it, oh, it, it works. Okay. Even if we didn't. Uh, imported it before. Sometimes it doesn't work on my side, I don't know. Sometimes it works, sometimes not. Okay, this time it works. Okay, here we have the red areas. We also can do is using objects. 
what we have here something like a tattoo you can put on her forehead like this okay. Maybe. Oh, a white Like that. It's like a shadow. Yeah, that's too much. Like this, this looks good. Uh, text part again now we have something like a tattoo on her head oh that's pretty easy and it's something like it's it's everything you need to know about you can uh, in, in a rough description just go to file initialize the photoshop 3d image open photoshop go to automatic and um, initialize the test studio 3d batch here as well then you get just a little window and um, you can also enable auto update which um, means that every step you take but um, every step you make in photoshop will immediately will show up in test studio but it's not necessary because uh, it will slow your machine down a little bit so then just export the image first of course import the image map you need you want to work on and um, you can do something else with so the limbs of course here we have the limbs the legs and the hands so let's feel free to paint on it take a brush so you can do rounds, or you can do dirt, or you can do whatever you want to. Yeah, you can do anything on any part of the body. See, you can see here, 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 and here, all the spots. So. Really, you can do literally everything with your finger. You can change the material, you can change the skin, you can make a reptile if you don't have a shader for it. You can do everything on your own. So it's pretty pretty cool, and um, you, can, you can use it a lot if you have Photoshop and uh, Dev Studio working together and uh, make a lot of funny things. So, that was pretty fast, a uh, quick and dirty tutorial. Sorry, I have to I not have to say much more about it because it really is everything you need to know. Um, everything else depends on your skills and Photoshop, how you how you uh, use it and how good you are. There are a lot of there are millions of Photoshop tutorials on the internet, so you can find easily a lot of things you can do on your own. And um, this was that. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.